My name is Matsuhana. I'm the creative producer of Metal Gear Solid for the 3DS version. When I joined the company in 1991, my first job was for the MSX version of Metal Gear, where I was put in charge of bug checking. From there, I participated in numerous Metal Gear projects, teaming with our director, Hideo Kojima. I've been involved in almost all the projects in the Metal Gear series. Metal Gear Solid is already up to four in the numbered series, and a lot more if you count the numerous spin-offs. But this current project, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, is a tribute to the origins of the successful long-running Metal Gear series. One of the reasons we decided to create Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater on 3DS was to fully showcase the features of the hardware. First and foremost, we wanted to make good use of the stereoscopic 3D feature. With the majority of the game taking place in the jungle, we endeavored to create jungle scenery that truly displays the beauty and depth of the jungle. In the jungle, there would be trees, stones, and maybe even a waterfall in the background. With 3D in mind, we were able to create a natural depth of field. It's on a completely different level than an interior setting, where you would not have as many rich textures or as wide a scope. For this reason, we felt that Snake Eater would be the most ideal candidate for this project. Regarding the specs of the hardware, the 3DS has many features, including the gyro sensor, a camera, wireless communication, and many others besides the 3D screen. The priority for us was to fully utilize these new features in this game. For example, the snake is able to blend into the environment utilizing camouflage to hide himself from enemies, which is one of the main concepts for Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. There have always been choices of camouflage, such as Tiger Stripe and so on. But this time around, we decided to take advantage of the built-in 3DS camera feature to add to our concept. Now, the user can take a picture, for instance, of a flower, and use that photo as a camouflage pattern. We call it photo camo. We've also fully incorporated the gyro sensor in this game. For example, if you tilt the 3DS when snakes climb in a tree or crossing a bridge, snake could be in danger of falling if you tilt the 3DS too much. In other words, we're hoping for a new kind of experience, where by holding the 3DS in your hands, you could, in a sense, become one with Snake. Snake Eater, at the time, used cutting-edge technology and ideas. But we're beginning to feel that our latest version is developing into something that will provide an even wider range of enjoyment than its predecessors, and really wow our customers. Thank you very much for your patience. I'm happy to report that our production is well on schedule, and we are working tirelessly to develop a product that will take full advantage of the 3DS hardware. Please look forward to it.